Hi guys doing I'm chained up my movie setup um, so I can make this actually easier to pull out all these movies because I was taking too long and it was just splitting into too many parts and I couldn't take it so I split it up into parts um, to make it easier but I also made it easier for me to pull out the movie so I'm gonna pull them out now we're gonna talk and let's get this started uh, let's start with 42 the Jackie Robinson story um, one of the things I've always hated about Chadwick Boseman's passing, um, I know this is going to sound a little disrespectful, is that he was a really great actor, but no one acknowledged it because Black Panther exists. Like, that's the only movie that he was in that people talk about. Here's a really good movie that he acts in and gives a great performance with Harrison Ford, and you should watch. Um, if you only know Chadwick Boseman from Black Panther and you're saying he's one of the greatest actors to ever live, you're bullshit. <laughs> Sorry. Sad, tragic loss. I, you know, wish Chadwick Boseman was still here, but at the same time, it's like, he's given better performances than just Black Panther. Gremlins 1 and 2. I don't have the 4K of Gremlins because I've heard awful things about it. I'll probably get it at some point, though. But I have the Blu-ray 2-pack there. Also, if they'd just done 2 and 1 in a 2-pack on 4K, probably would have grabbed it, but they didn't, so. Um, the Outlaw... Kiss, kicks, bang, bang. Never ending story two. Uh, vacation with Chevy Chase. Or National Lapoon's Vacation. Not Christmas Vacation, just Vacation. I like that movie. It's such a fun movie. Kind of relatable because uh, as someone who's never had a good vacation in their lives. With their family. Just saying. Dial M for Murder, some Alfred Hitchcock, uh, Dictator, this is a Sasha Baron Cohen movie, I've heard awful things about it, but I like Sasha Baron Cohen, and Blinded by Light, made a really good video, I'm proud of, on this channel about that movie, so if you want to check that out, uh, The Dirty Dozen and the Green Barrettes, I have this for The Dirty Dozen, which I love, I hope we get a 4K of The Dirty Dozen, it'd be nice if like, Kino Lorber or Shout Factory did that, or not Shout Factory, um, Criteria. Uh, Snake Eyes and Face Off double feature. Absolutely love Face Off. The Matrix Trilogy. Yes, I need to upgrade to the 4Ks, but they're always so pricey. And there's only one of those movies I like, but I need to upgrade them all, yes. Uh, the Grand Hotel. Uh, pretty good Best Picture winning movie from its time. Speed Racer. I haven't seen that, and I still need to watch it. A lot of people love it, though. Uh, Purple Rain. I do not like this movie. It's a terrible movie. Um, I think it's like, if you're a Prince fan, I guess you should, if you're a hardcore Prince fan, you should watch it. But really, what you really should do is A, listen to the album, B, just look up the music video parts. Because that's the only good part of this movie. It's not an interesting story. We have Caddyshack, which is a great uh, comedy. Who doesn't love Caddyshack? The Outsiders. Um, I need to upgrade this to the 4K. Absolutely adore The Outsiders. Uh, one of my favorite Francis Ford Coppola movies. Alright. The Midnight Special. This is a really underrated sci-fi movie. Absolutely incredible. If you come across this one at the Dollar Tree, like I did, 100% grab it. Uh, Crazy Rich Asians. I don't really care for Crazy Rich Asians, uh, Rich Asians too much. It's It's okay. It's not a great one. I hope we get the Poultry Guys in 4K this year. That's all I'm saying. This movie's fantastic. Um, I don't know if it's still quite as creepy as it was back in the day, but Poultry Guys is a great movie. Blazing Saddles, uh, one of my, fa my favorite Mel Brooks movie. Uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, and, yeah, I need to grab that one on 4K. It just hasn't happened yet. Last Black Friday, and it went on sale, and I didn't grab it, and I'm still kicking myself over that like really pissed at myself but Paddington 1 and 2 some of my favorite films of all time because these movies are uh, phenomenal who doesn't love Paddington 2 um we have Primal season 1 Primal's phenomenal and I hope that we get more Rick and Morty uh seasons 1 through 3 season 4 and season 5 absolutely adore Rick and Morty can't wait for them to come out with season six. Night of the Living Dead, the animated movie. Garbage 
movie, but Night of the Living Dead is a phenomenal movie, and you should just watch the original. Uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the good one. Sorry, Jim Carrey sucks as the Grinch. Uh, the Nutcracker Tale on Blu-ray, Tom and Jerry Nutcracker Tale, absolutely. This is uh, actually a really good Tom and Jerry movie, the garbage live-action one that came out. Because that happened. Um, we have Tom and Jerry the Fast and the Furriest. Mm-hmm. So all you furries out there. Uh, Tom and Jerry, Robin Hood Men in Tights. The Jetsons, uh, complete first season on our archive. Which looks phenomenal. I swear that thing looks phenomenal. Um, we have... Scooby-Doo, the live-action movies, Big Top Scooby-Doo, absolutely love Scooby-Doo, so if you can't tell that, um, Scoob on 4K, Space Jam on 4K, uh, Space Jam, A New Legacy on Blu-ray, I don't need this on 4K, I didn't need this movie to exist, I have fun with it, but it's not a good movie, and I don't need an already bad-looking movie on 4K. The Iron Giant. I love The Iron Giant. That's one of those movies, too. If they ever did an Iron Giant 4K, holy shit, they want to grab. Uh, Happy Feet 1 and 2. Uh, awful. I watched those recently because I remember watching the second one th in theaters thinking it was awful, but I don't remember the first one, so I watched both. God, those movies are awful. The Legend of Owls of Gohul, one of the few Zack Snyder films I like. Very few mount though, because Zack Snyder is, doesn't make very good movies, to be honest. I know some of those Zack Snyder fans are coming for me now. Uh, the Storks. Uh, very f fun little movie. I definitely recommend checking that one out. The Lego Movie. I love the Lego Movie. One of my favorite movies ever made. And then I have... The second part Lego movie. Um, I have Lego Ninjago. Batman. Lego Batman the movie. Batman Death in the Family. Here, here we go. We're just going to hear a lot of Batman. Batman and Ninja Turtles. Batman The Longest Halloween Part 1 and 2. Batman Beyond, the complete series. Batman Ninja, which should be called Batman Samurai, and that's the steel. And then we have Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders. We have Batman Gotham by Gaslight. Batman the Killing Joke. And Batman Hush. Hold on. There's more uh, Bat-related people. Uh, Batwoman. Season 1. I need, I need to get actually Season 2, but I don't have that. Um, the Joker. Uh, Deathstroke. Movie. Um, Birds of Prey. The Bad Suicide Squad movie. And I need to get the good one. Uh, Krypton. The complete series. Phenomenal series. Is what, is what I would say about Gotham. Gotham is a phenomenal series. The Superman equivalent to that, Krypton, is a piece of shit. No, it's a watcher. <laughs> Why do you need to know the origins of a planet that we knew blew up? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Death and Return of Superman. Um, yeah, I love Superman, so I have a, so a few Superman movies. I have less of them, though. Superman Red Sun. I actually just love DC in general. That's why I have all these. Um, Superman, Man of Tomorrow. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman! Sorry, I had to. Wonder Woman 1984. Can you believe there's no 80s music in this movie? What the hell is that nonsense? There should have been an 80s soundtrack to that. Wonder Woman Bloodlines. Aquaman. Aquaman. Lego Rage of Atlantis. Green Lantern, the phenomenal 
movie that everyone loves. Uh, absolutely everyone enjoyed that movie when it came out, and yeah, I'm not going to continue with that bit. No one loved that movie. <laughs> Uh, Justice League Dark, Apocalypse War, The Snyder Cut, and I still have my Black Friday promo sticker on the front of it. Let me peel that off real quick. Uh, so I can just peel real quick. No, it's not. All right, fine. I'll leave it on. But, yeah, there's that. And then we have Justice League, the New Frontier. Um, Justice League the versus the Fatal Five. Teen Titans Judas Contract. Uh, Shazam. Shazam. And then Shazam Magic and Monsters. Shazam is definitely one of my favorite DC movies. I cannot wait for Shazam 2. Swamp Thing, you make my heart sing. If you know what that song is from, uh, you and I are forever friends. I don't even know what it's from, but I've heard it somewhere and I can't figure out where it is. So, if someone in the comments knows, help me figure out my weird mental delusion. Um, Constantine, City of Demons. Pretty cool. Alright, that's all my DC movies. We have the original Three Turtles movies, the trilogy, the turtle trisecta, if it's not a trisecta, it's a trilogy, and then we have the TMNT animated film, because who doesn't love freaking Ninja Turtles, man, and something a little groovy, baby, the Austin Powers trilogy, and then we have um, Harold and Kumar double feature, I haven't watched these yet. So I, I can't really comment on those, but I have those. I've never seen this movie either, Butterfly Fl Effect. I've heard great things, though. Need to watch that. Um, we have Second End Lions. Pretty enjoyable little movie. Uh, I All Eyes on Me, some Tupac, because I love some Tupac. The Wedding Singer. Um, fun Adam Sandler movie, though. To be honest... I watched this movie and um, I rewatched it because I only watched it one time, and then I bought it to rewatch it, and uh, I liked it a lot less. Uh, the humor did not land as well as I remember it landing, and it I don't know something about it just bothered me. I don't know what it was. Chernobyl, incredible series. I know there's a 4K, but you know what? When I bought it, there wasn't a 4K, and now there is, and it kind of sucks that. I have to rebuy all these things on 4K because my little, my little uh, brain that makes me think doesn't think about uh, how much money I'm wasting doing that. But to be honest, I don't upgrade everything on 4K. There are a lot of these things that I'm showing you right now that have 4Ks, and I'm just not going to upgrade them. There's a few of them I really love, and I will, like Willy Wonka, but besides that, most of them I won't. Uh, Band of Brothers, absolutely great miniseries. If you haven't seen Band of Brothers, you're missing out. And then we're going to get to my Universal Steelbooks, because i got a few of these. The Breakfast Club. Does Barry Manilow know you raid his movie collection? Um, actually, I don't know if Barry Manilow has a movie collection, but you can ask him for me. Uh, if you ever see Barry Manilow, ask him for me. Uh, to Kill a Mockingbird. That's what I hope comes to 4K. Really do. The Blues Brothers. Okay, some people are going to really hate me for this one. Never seen it. Uh, I will watch it, promise, just hasn't happened yet, Serenity, uh, phenomenal, uh, movie, and continuation to the ever, forever short-lived and tragic Firefly show, that show's amazing, and why, why did we get so little of that show, that show should have gone on forever, or at least by now it should have got picked up by a streaming service and given the just it deserved. E.T. the Extraterrestrial on 4K Steelbook and Schindler's List because um, something to break my damn heart. That's what that's what that's for. Uh, Halloween 2018, which uh, don't love. I did really like Halloween Kills though. 
uh, we have First Man, which um, I watched this, and it's a good movie, but Damien Chazelle's other movies, like Whiplash and La La Land, so much better. Um, Apollo 13, you know, I'm not, I'm not a big Apollo 13 guy. I love Ron Howard movies, though, so I had to have that one. Parasite, ph phenomenal movie. Who doesn't love Parasite? The Thing on 4K. Um, some people are really going to hate it. I've never seen the thing, and that's not for any particular reason. It just hasn't happened yet. I'm young, and I haven't seen every classic movie, so I'm I'm admitting it to you now. So you're gonna hold me accountable 20 years from now when I'm going. I still haven't seen this movie, but I did watch the latest Avengers movie, which is, which I hope they're still not making Avengers movies 20 years from now because, who would keep up with any of that at that point? I don't know. 1917 and glorious bastards on 4k um I, yeah i don't know that 4k was really cheap that's why i bought it and i didn't have the blu-ray so some people say the 4k on that movie sucks i don't know i haven't watched it i've never seen inglorious bastards i have seen yesterday so uh scott pilgrim vs the world Absolutely uh, one of the best films of the last decade. Uh, just so good. And then Smoking the Bandit 3 movie collection. I need to get the first one of 4K, but I do love Smoking the Bandit. And then we have Promising a Young Woman. A phenomenal movie. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Uh, this, is, um, this is a coaster that I just put in my movie collection. Because that's all that's, that movie deserves. Uh, King of Satin Island, some Judd Apatel. I need, I need to see more of his films. Uh, I've watched, I've not seen very many. Uh, the Danish Girl, I have never seen this movie. I bought this at thrift shop, was a blind buy, and I still watched it. So, The Current War, um, no, right, like, a biopic about Thomas Edison. Shit, that's cool. Uh, Queen and Slim, uh, that's a great movie if you haven't seen that. Very underrated. Jaws. On 4K lenticular, uh, like, digi book thing packaging. I don't know what you call that. Um, yeah, there's that. The Jaws sequel. So this has Jaws 2, 3, and 4. Because I love the Jaws sequels. Even the bad ones. Which is all of them, because they're all bad. But I love them all. That's all I can tell you. Um... Casino. I haven't seen this movie yet. I will. Um, Kong. The Peter Jackson three hour epic. Why is this so freaking long edition? That's what it should be called. Um, because, dear God, why is that movie three hours long? There's no excuse for that. Uh, News of the World. I mentioned that in my Western Month videos if you want to check that out. Uh, Us, not as good as Get Out, but I still, uh, have a soft spot for that movie. Um, The Hulk, the 2003 one, which some people really hate. I don't really hate it. I will admit it's not a good movie, but I don't really hate it. The Big Lebowski, um, my first Coen Brothers movie I've ever seen, and I love this movie, and wow, uh, Made a video talking about my first time watching that movie. And it, that was a crazy experience. That's all I'm going to tell you. Straight out of competent. Um, love the music from that time period. So I have that movie. I still haven't watched the movie though. Do the Right Thing. Uh, so Spike Lee. Because who doesn't love Spike Lee? As, well. There's plenty of reasons not to like Spike Lee. Guy's made some pretty shitty movies. But he's also made some great ones. So Sea Biscuit. Um, if you only know Tobey Maguire from Spider-Man, here's a good movie to check out. Also, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. With Tobey, Tobey Maguire is in that movie, and he's great in that movie. Uh, Bridesmaids. Shut up. It's a funny movie. Dawn of the Dead and Land of the Dead. Uh, if you only know James Gunn from The Suicide Squad and, uh, uh, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy. He wrote the screenplay to Dawn of the Dead, which is the best Zack Snyder movie. Fight me. Get Out. Love Get Out. Love, love, love Get Out. 
I apologize if I seem like I'm really negative on like superhero movies. I just want people to check out more movies because it seems like all people care about now is superhero movies. I'm a fan of movies, so I'm kind of encouraging in this video movies that have relation to superhero movies to just like encourage people to watch other movies because you, of course I like superhero movies too. I just showed you a massive DC collection. I'm just saying like there are other movies though. Alright, let's get to this last shelf down here, and then I'm going to split it into part four. Dive into that, and maybe part five, depending on how long that one's going to take. A Beautiful Mind, my favorite Ron Howard movie, and it won a Best Picture, so... Don't know if it deserved Best Picture, but great movie. Uh, Happy Time Murders. I have not watched this movie. Pro I don't even know if I ever will, because it's terrible from what I hear. I hate Melissa McCarthy, but I bought this because it's... I love Jim Henson, and it's a Henson Company movie, so I bought it. Probably never going to watch it. Um, American Graffiti, The Jerk with Steve Martin, which is great. Uncle Buck, which, uh, one of the best uh, junk candy movies. Look, you got little McCauley in there. McCauley Coca. Before he did Home Alone, he was in that movie. Harry and the Hendersons. You know, they actually used my face for it, for to make that. Because we look the same. I, now, you, now you can't unsee it. We look the exact same. Um, the Lamb Before Time on Blu-ray. I have the 14 movie collection that has all the sequels. So, I'm a, I'm a definitely, uh, I'm a definitely... Land Before Time, Fnatic, as they call it. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Casper, uh, a movie that exists that I like watching around Halloween Town, but uh, Halloween Time, not Halloween Town. Halloween Town is a completely different movie. We're not talking about that. Can you tell I need some sleep? Holiday Inn, a little Christmas movie there. Um, Muppets, it's a very merry Muppet, Muppet, Muppet Christmas, uh, movie, and it's, it's not a very, very merry Muppet Christmas movie, because, uh, that movie is depressing for a Muppet movie, which is unexpected, unexpected, uh, Here Comes Peter Cottontail, I haven't watched that yet, need to check that out, uh, the Rankin Bass kind of collection with, like, you know, Frosty, Rudolph, and other shit, <laughs> Uh, I don't really like that much, but I feel like I should have them, so I bought them. Uh, the DreamWorks Collection. This is like all their Christmas shorts, and then it's got the Rise of the Guardians movie, so you can kind of look on the back and see what's there. But, you know, all the holiday shorts they did. Uh, the Prince of Egypt. Phenomenal. The best DreamWorks movie. Uh, Joseph King of Dreams. Not as bad as I remember rewatching it, but this movie's terrible, and no one should watch it. Uh, the Road to El Dorado. Phenomenal. Uh, DreamWorks movie, so incredibly funny. Alright, sorry, I'm pulling out the next stack here to show you. I love the Eldorado, though. You guys should watch that one. Such an underrated movie. Alright, Spirit. Stallion of the Cimarron, Over the Hedge, because I love Over the Hedge, such a great um, soundtrack to that movie, but the movie itself is alright. Uh, Shark Tale, Garbage. I own a, all the DreamWorks movies, uh, it is what I want to say by the end of 2025, so uh, you know some of these movies I may not like, but I have them because I love DreamWorks, and I want to own all their films. Uh, Lost and Grumet, The Crystal Were Rabbit, great movie. B-movie, absolutely terrible. J even Jerry Seinfeld could not save that. And I love Jerry Seinfeld. How to Train Dragon, the trilogy. The Madagascar Ultimate Collection. Kung Fu Panda trilogy, because who doesn't love Kung Fu Panda? And The Croods. Duology. Alright. Next part of this. We have Trolls. 
Guilty Pleasures, Trolls World Tour. And yes, I have the 4K. Ooh. Then we have uh, Red Shoes at, and the, the Some Dwarves. I kind of like that movie. I don't know. Shut up. Um, the Jesus Music, which uh, is phenomenal. And I did not expect that you guys would all watch it. L.A. Story, the Steve Martin classic that I haven't watched it. The very excellent Mr. Dundee. As a Crack It Out Dundee fan, I checked this out. It's bad, but I don't know. I kind of got some amusement out of it, I guess. Uh, the Courier. The Peanut Butter Falcon. The uh, Pavarotto. I think that's how you say it. Um, Jonah movie, which uh, I love VeggieTales as a kid. Some of it holds up, some of it doesn't. The Wallace and Gromit. Uh, this is the short collection. It's all the shorts. And we have uh, the Shaun the Sheep movie, which uh, I love. I wish we can get an American Blu-ray of the second one, but we're not going to because it released on Netflix 7. Uh, which I did love the movie, and I wish it didn't go as under the radar as it did. Power Rangers the movie. Dirty Dancing 1 and 2. Um, the Expendables trilogy, which I love the Expendables uh, franchise for how dumb it is. But they're not good movies. Uh, Dragged Across Concrete. The Hateful Eight. Uh, love that movie. Reds of War Dogs, love that. And The Big Sick. Pretty good movie. All right, so that's the shelf done and done for. And you guys can let me know your thoughts on all these movies here. But we're going to move into part... Are we going to part three or four? I, I think we're on part four now. I don't know. I lost count!